Hello my dear friends, you are today joined with the According to Ashen YouTube channel. Like and subscribe me. Today, I stand before you to shed light on a pressing issue that has been plaguing societies around the world the methamphetamine crisis. Methamphetamine, commonly known as meth or crystal meth, has emerged as a significant threat, wreaking havoc on individuals, families, and communities across the globe. It is imperative that we confront this crisis head-on, its causes, and potential understanding consequences, solutions. What is methamphetamine? Methamphetamine is a powerful, highly addictive stimulant that affects the central nervous system. Crystal methamphetamine is a form of the drug that looks like glass fragments or shiny, bluish-white rocks. It is chemically similar to amphetamine, a drug used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and narcolepsy, a sleep disorder. How do people use methamphetamine? People can take methamphetamine by smoking, swallowing, pill, snorting, injecting the powder that has been dissolved in water, alcohol because the hot from the drug both starts and fades quickly. People often take repeated doses in a binge and crash pattern. In some cases, people take methamphetamine in a form of binging known as a run, giving up food and sleep while continuing to take the drug every few hours for up to several days. How does methamphetamine affect the brain? Methamphetamine increases the amount of the natural chemical dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is involved in body movement, motivation, and reinforcement of rewarding behaviors. The drug's ability to rapidly release high levels of dopamine in reward areas of the brain strongly reinforces drug-taking behavior, making the user want to repeat the experience. Short-term effect Taking even small amounts of methamphetamine can result in many of the same health effects as those of other stimulants, such as cocaine or amphetamines. These include Increased wakefulness and physical activity, decreased appetite, faster breathing rapid and or regular heartbeat, increased blood pressure and body temperature fentanyl, which may be knowingly consumed with methamphetamine or added to or sold as methamphetamine without a person's knowledge. How can an overdose be treated? Methamphetamine because methamphetamine overdose often leads to a stroke, heart attack, or organ problems. First responders and emergency room doctors try to treat the overdose by treating these conditions, with the intent of Restoring blood flow to the affected part of the brain, stroke, restoring blood flow to the heart, heart attack, treating the organ problems. Is methamphetamine addictive? Yes, methamphetamine is highly addictive. When people stop taking it, withdrawal symptoms can include anxiety, fatigue, severe depression, psychosis, intense drug cravings. How is methamphetamine addiction treated? While research is underway, there are currently no government-approved medications to treat methamphetamine addiction. The good news is that methamphetamine misuse can be prevented and addiction to the drug can be treated with behavioral therapies. The most effective treatments for methamphetamine addiction so far are behavioral therapies, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps patients recognize, avoid, and cope with the situations likely to trigger drug use. Motivational incentives, which uses vouchers or small cash rewards to encourage patients to remain drug-free research also continues toward development of medicines and other new treatments for methamphetamine use, including vaccines and non-invasive stimulation of the brain using magnetic fields. People can and do recover from methamphetamine addiction if they have ready access to effective treatments that address the multitude of medical and personal problems resulting from long-term use. 